Yo, what's up, YouTube? So if you're a video creator like me, other than the content of your actual video, I'm pretty sure one of the main things that you are concerned with is your video quality, whether it be a video that's going up on YouTube, whether it is a video that is going up on Instagram or any other social media platform. The video quality is really, I'm not going to say it matters the most because, you know, audio is a big deal, but the video quality is definitely something that matters and definitely is something that will make your video, you know, stand apart, whether, you know, for the better or for the worse. So in this video, I want to pinpoint what determines the quality of a video, and I want to give you some recommendations for the best settings to use when exporting a video to YouTube or Instagram. So I'm gonna hop into my editor, which currently is Adobe Premiere Pro. Might be changing that pretty soon, but anyway, this video I have right now is a wedding video um, that I just finished up. As you can see, it's a nine minute, dag on there, 10 minute video. So this isn't something that I would put on social media. So I, I guess I'll show a YouTube export first. And um, as far as my just video is concerned, it's not a whole lot of like crazy transitions or things in here that are like, I guess, real data dependent, but I'll get into why that matters in a second. So let me just go ahead and select a custom um, export real quick. Let's do, actually, let's go to YouTube uh, 4K. So pretty much the main thing you're going to have to be concerned with um, other than these two, if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro, always uh, click render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. But pretty much the thing that determines the uh, quality of your video is going to be the bitrate settings here. This is the bread and butter. So as you can see, there are three different settings that you can pick as it pertains to your bitrate. The first one here is CBR, and then we have VBR pass one and VBR pass two. So I'm gonna give a, just a real quick, just real simple explanation about what these are. So CBR stands for constant bitrate, and VBR um, stands for variable bitrate. So with the constant bitrate, pretty much what that means is there will be an equal amount of data applied to this video just equally throughout, no matter whether there's like transitions. I don't have any lower thirds or anything. Like I said, there aren't any crazy effects in here, but if I were to add any graphics, if I were to have like say um, different frame rates, 60 frames a second slowing down, 120 uh, frames a second slowing down, uh, versus just a standard 24 shot, uh, 24 frames per second shot, or say like for your YouTube videos, if you're doing a regular talking head just like this, or if you got like crazy graphics, crazy lower thirds effects going on. Um, if you were to use the CBR um, bitrate setting, there will be an equal amount of data applied to each section of the video. So pretty much the way VBR differs from CBR is VBR stands for variable bitrate, meaning that the bitrate changes throughout the video. So what the video editor does is it scans the entire video and it identifies which parts of the video are a little bit more complex, like those lower thirds, those effects, those graphics and things like that. And it will apply more bits, more data to those parts and apply less data to the parts like this, just regular talking head. So with my wedding video, um, like I said, it's pretty much straight through. There's not a whole lot that, you know, different um, other than frame rate changes. Um, how VBR Pass 2 differs from VBR Pass 1 is it optimizes that process. So VBR Pass 1 only scans the video one time. It scans, identifies everything places everything where it needs to be as far as the bits, the data, the way the video is processed. VBR Pass 2 scans the video twice, so it optimizes just, you know, the placement, excuse me, of everything. So if quality is your main concern, VBR Pass 2 should always be used, in my opinion, over VBR Pass 1, um, unless you're really pressed for like time. That's the only way I would recommend VBR Pass 1 over VBR Pass 2. Um, but if you want the highest video quality, VBR Pass 2 is what you should choose. Now, as far as whether or not you should go with CBR versus VBR, like I said, um, CBR pretty much places the bits uh, equally throughout the whole video. I actually, when I upload my videos to Instagram, I'm sorry, when I upload my videos to YouTube, like my wedding videos, like say if I was to upload this wedding video to Instagram, uh, I'm sorry, shoot, YouTube, I normally use 
CBR, to be honest with you, um, because that's just what I've been using. I haven't had a problem with it. I don't have any crazy effects or anything like that. One thing I do know about CBR is it's better with streaming because it's more consistent. So say if I was like a streamer or if I was like, again, posting to YouTube, posting to Vimeo, I was always under the impression that CBR was better than VBR, but I believe that uh, in terms of quality, I think VBR passed too due to that like extra optimization of the applying of the bits throughout the video. I think that VBR Pass 2 is going to be uh, your best for image quality. VB, uh, CBR is a, a good option if you just kind of want that consistent, you know, spread throughout the video and uh, along with just good image quality. I really wouldn't use VBR Pass 1 at this point, to be honest with you. So as far as YouTube is concerned for video uploads, as you see right here for HDR uploads um, in 4K, the uh, bit rate that they recommend is 44 through 56. So at least 44, 56 uh, megabytes per second uh, and 24, 35, uh, 25 and 30 frames per second. And uh, as far as 48, 50 and 60 frames a second, they, uh, and that's if you're exporting the entire video out in those frame rates, they recommend a 66 to 85 uh, megabytes per second. And I wouldn't worry about this because uh, unless you do SDR, but we're mainly doing H HDR. So um, as you can see, like I said, the bit rate matters the most, right? So say if I go to that 44 frames, uh, 44, I'm sorry, megabits per second, you see my file size increased to about three gigs, 3.2 gigs, uh, 32, 62 megabytes. If I go to 56, that changes to uh, four gigs, 41, uh, 45 megabytes, 4,145. And if I was to go to VBR Pass 2, um, it's pretty much the same thing. What I probably would recommend doing is uh, put a maximum bit rate uh, of 56 and a target bit rate of 44. Because that's, that's if you're uploading to YouTube. Because that's pretty much what they said uh, is not the requirement, but it's recommended. Right here, it's recommended. So you already know when you're dealing with posting to different platforms like YouTube and Instagram compression is another thing. So I wouldn't want to put this at like, say a hundred to think that I'm gonna get the best image quality. Um, as you see now the video seven gigs just for them to compress it down and it looked like garbage, you know? Um, if you go over to this article and um, I brought up this article because when I looked up the settings for Instagram, I couldn't really find any definitive settings as far as bit rate is concerned. The things that they recommend is uh, 30 frames a second, no more than a minute, we know that, and for it to be 1080p, pretty much 1080 by 1920. But one thing I did always notice is if you go to the uh, custom presets for mobile on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro 1080p, um, as far as the bit rate is concerned, I always see it at eight. One thing I did find, um, it didn't really look like an official source, but I saw somebody mention five to 15 megabits. So this is eight. So this actually puts us right here in the middle. Um, CBR eight, I guess you can play with this. You can try to see uh, if you post using eight, using five, using 15, if you're doing CBR, or if you want to try, you know, this custom, uh, what they already have for mobile for VBR pass two. Or if you want to try a target bit rate of five with a maximum of 15, I mean, you can knock yourself out with that. But pretty much when it comes to video uploads, whether it's YouTube or Instagram, like I said before, the main thing that is the most important that is going to determine your video quality is going to be your bit rate. Nothing else, um, in my opinion, is more important than that. So like I said, man, play around with the settings. Um, Hope you wrote down the recommendations I gave in this video for both YouTube and Instagram because there's no point in shooting a video, you know, making the perfect video if you want to share it with people and you upload it and the quality is trash. So I really hope I help somebody out in this video. Comment down below um, if you have like other insight or if your settings are different. If you found, you know, through trial and error, some other information about bitrate, I'd be really curious to know about that. Like this video if you found value in it. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.